Good evening, MMA YouTube. MMA Joe. Joe here, and as usual, I hope y'all are happy, healthy, and doing Boom. well. This weekend, we have a big fight coming up. The big fight. It is the heavyweight unification title bout between Francis Ngannou, Cyril Kane. Uh, we got to talk about this one. I don't talk about fights a whole lot. I don't ever make predictions, but I feel like it's very obvious who the winner in this fight's going to be. So I want to talk about that a little bit right now. Um, I am not a betting man, but if you'll recall, I was out in front of Amanda Nunes and Juliana Pena. I called Pena winning that. I did not see it coming by submission. I thought it was going to be by TKO, but nevertheless, whatever. Um, so now I'm making, I don't want to say a prediction. This is more of an observation, but I believe there's only can be one one result here for Francis Ngannou, and that is to lose. Now, let me explain, because I know I know people are going to say, ah, oh, you know, MMA fighters don't throw fights. They're too proud. Or fighters don't throw fights. Pugilists don't throw fights. It's been happening since the beginning of time. MMA fighters, boxers, wrestlers, Sambo, judo competition, fencing, whatever you can think of, whatever kind of competition was involved, you can bet that some people <laughs> have taken dives. Now, I don't want to say that, that Francis Ngannou is taking a dive because he's definitely not doing it for Cyril, Cyril Gone. I can tell you that right now. But i tell you who he is doing it for himself. And if anybody's been paying attention here, you would know that we're on Francis Ngannou's last fight of his contract. And let me tell you this, he is not happy with his contract and hasn't been for quite some time because he's the biggest draw, maybe, in the UFC. Everyone wants to see this man fight. So he knows that he can make, I don't know, what do you think, 30, 40, 50 million a fight boxing as opposed to what? What is he going to make? Uh, the most, I don't know, 500, 600,000 to show for the UFC maybe match that to win. That gives them a million, some pay-per-view points. I don't know, some other side deals. It's not coming close to the boxing fight. And here recently, Nagano has come out and already confirmed what I knew by saying that he would love to stay or he'd be willing to stay at the UFC if Dana White would just allow him to box while under contract with the UFC. Well, guess what? That is absolutely not happening. Has it ever happened? Sure. Sure, it happened for Connor. Francis is not Connor, all right? That is not going to happen. The UFC historically has only done it one time, again, with Connor, but Francis is not Connor. This is not going to happen. So, the way I see it, here's another part of the puzzle. If Francis Ngannou goes out here and one shot KOs Cyril Gone, he is contractually obligated, obligated to stay with the UFC for one more fight. I ask you again. Would you rather fight if you were Francis Ngannou for, I don't know, maybe maybe a million and some change the next fight? Not even this one, the next fight? Or would you rather fight for, I don't know, 40, 50 million dollars? Boom, one shot. So, I don't think that, that Francis Ngannou is going to go out here and throw this fight for, the UFC, for UFC's benefit, for bookmakers' benefit, for Cyril Gaon's benefit. He's like, no. Francis Ngannou is going to go out here and he's going to get himself knocked out or choked out for his own benefit. And I don't see this playing any other way. One more thing to note here. It's real funny. I do talk about this sometimes. Francis Ngannou, I don't know, what's he shed? 15 pounds? 20 pounds of muscle mass? He's got a new physique. Well... When, you, when, you, when you're the champion, okay, and you don't have an injury, this is just my theory. I'm just speculating here. By the way, it's probably a great time to say that I'm just a guy talking to my cell phone. So anything I say, you can take with a grain of salt kindly, very kindly. This is just pure speculation on my part. Francis Ngannou is now maybe 15 pounds lighter, less muscle mass. He's on a, uh, he's got a new physique. The, the training for this upcoming fight. Well, when UFC contenders become title holders, I think USADA comes knocking a lot more and a lot more regularly. 
And if you don't have an injury to boot on that, well, then you don't have any excuse to be taking supplements, i.e. PEDs, you know, pizzas, enchiladas, and donuts. Doctors will prescribe these things. Excuse me, son, son. Can you hang on just a second? Doctors will prescribe these things so that, uh, and the UFC and USADA, I'm sure, will look the other way because they'll say, oh, Conor McGregor, uh, you had your leg broken and the doctor said you could take this human growth hormone. So, <laughs> Conor McGregor's 190 pounds now. Yeah. Conor McGregor's the one, one of the guys that I thought for years is not on PEDs. But if there's any doubt in anyone's mind that Conor, sorry, not trying to get off on Conor McGregor. But that's an example of what I'm talking about here. Had Francis Ngannou come into this title fight with, I don't know, coming off of a major injury and uh, needing to heal and recover and then train, I think USADA would have been okay with him taking whatever the doctor prescribed. Seeing how that's not the case, he's perfectly healthy. Now we see Francis Ngannou with a totally different physique. <laughs> I mean, his chest is almost gone now. His shoulders. So anyway, proof's in the pudding. Son, do not touch the cell phone. I'm so sick of this guy. This guy just doesn't. It's been, it's been a while. So these kids have been out of school. There's some snow. They're not listening very well. I'm not going to keep going on about that. This is a great time for me to wrap this up so I can go wrap him up. Oh, yeah. Anyway. Yeah, that's a good time to wrap it up. If you have any questions or comments, good, bad, or indifferent, you can go ahead and put them down there below because, well, they're greatly encouraged and greatly appreciated. You know, they only help us to get smarter. You know, information sharing is the thing around here in this community. So if we could do that, that'd make me happy. Make all of us happy. All right. You know what time it is. As always, thank you for listening. Be good. Be safe. I was going to say, tell them it's your girl kicking ass. Taking names. Boom. <laughs>